Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create circles. There are two ways to open the Draw Curves tab. The first is to use the menu. Go to Create, Draw Curves, and select Circle. Notice there's a fourth tab that says Draw Curves, and among the options is Circle. I'll go ahead and push cancel to get out of this. The second way is to use the toolbar shortcut. We go over to the drop down for connector creation and we select circle. And once again, notice there's a fourth tab that says draw curves and we have an option for circle, which is currently highlighted. There are four options for creating circular segments. Let's start with the first one, two points and shoulder. This option starts first by picking two anchor points these define the start and the end of the circular sector. The third point that I choose is the shoulder. Note that I can drag this point around. I can also drag the end points around. The second option is called two points in the center. Just like the previous method, it starts out by clicking two points, which define the start and the end of the circular sector. Although this time, the third point represents the center of the circle. Once again, note that I can actually drag this point around. I can still drag the endpoints around as well. The third option is called two points and an angle. Again, here are my two points that define the circular sector. However, I won't choose a third point. Instead, I'll choose an angle. For example, let's try 90 degrees. Type in 90, push enter. Notice that it's created a 90 degree sector. Now I can grab these endpoints and move them around and pointwise will still maintain that defined sector angle. The last option here is called point center and angle. First, select a point on the circle. Next, select the center. Right now the angle was 90 degrees because I had typed that in, but I can really type in any angle I want. For example, if I type in 180, it creates a semicircle. If I wanted to go the other way, I just push the flip button. Now I can pretty much type in any angle. Let's try 270. This is also an easy way to draw an entire circle by typing 360 degrees. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.